Hello everyone, this is Brandon again, all the way from Chile, and today we have a video about the Shelly humidity and temperature. And we'll be seeing how to add it to the Shelly app and how to create a static IP so we can connect it to our web browser. So I'll see you there. And here's the box. So you can see if we open it, the device is a little sensor. When we open it, we can see the space for the battery and the bottom to reset the device. Also, if you don't want to use a battery, you can exchange the part for the USB power option that Shelly offers. So as you can see, I just change it and I connect the USB to it. And we can go to the Shelly app and look for our device. Uh, once we found it and we join the network, we just have to wait. And as you can see here, I got it into my Discover devices and now I'm adding it to my app. And here it is. So now I can see the device here and there's many things that we can do with this device. So it has these commands that you can uh, create some actions for other shelly devices. For example, if I want to set certain temperature to turn on or turn off another device, I can do it here. So for example, if I want to have a temperature of 35 Celsius and I can create a command that will, for example, turn on my shelly plug or my shelly one that is connected to a fan, for example, and it's going to turn on or turn off depending on the temperature or, or the humidity that I decide. One thing that is recommended for this device is to create an static IP address. You will probably be able to see that on your with your internet provider. My internet provider does not give me that information so I had to look for my other Shelly devices IPs and use that as reference. And as you can see here it worked. Now I can access my Shelly device from my web browser on my computer and I can do everything that I can do on my Shelly app I can do it here on my web browser so as you can see here I can create different actions from different temperatures or, or humidities so everything you can do on your Shelly app you can also do it by creating an static IP address for your Shelly device and connecting from your web browser and that was today's video about the Shelly humidity and temperature. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.